the day the crayons quit. But by Drew Dewalt, pictures by Oliver Jeffers. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on it. It's, hi Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than all your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out pulling fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas on Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest, your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crown for great dragons and lucid hat, but, to, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lights. If you don't start coloring inside the lights soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crown. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige, and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Cran. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only thing I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? <laughs> Your beige friend, beige crayon. Dear Duncan, Grey Crown here, you're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started up on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. Do you know how tired I am after handling one of those animals? Such big animals. Maybe penguins are gray, and also are very tiny rocks. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? A very tired friend, Greg Crown. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as you using me on. Why? If I didn't have a blackout line, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill in empty spaces between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, like cramp. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outlines of things. Things that are colored and my other colors. All of which things are brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill the col colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometimes? Is that too much to ask a crayon black crayon? Dear Doctor, as green crayon, I'm ready for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems in wishing to congratulate you on a very successful coloring thing screen career. So far, the second reason I write is for my friends. Or yellow crown and orange crown. You are no longer speaking. Both crowns feel they should be in the color of the sun. Please sit on the suit because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crown. Dear Duncan, yellow crayon here. I need you to tell orange crayon that I'm the color of the sun. I would tell her myself, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun. To, to, last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your happy farm picture coloring book. And in case you forgot, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. 
I'm shining down brownly on a field of yellow corn. Your power in the true color of sun yellow brown. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talked to you, the big whiners. Anyways, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he's not the color of the sun? I will, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I'm the color of the sun because on Tuesday you used me to color the sun on, on your both monkeys in this Island, both Monkey Island and the Zookeeper page in your coloring book. Orange crayon. Glad I'm here. Ha! Your pal and the real color of the sun. Orange crayon. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color in the past years and the year before and the year before that I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and scrubby I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very scrubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I am a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to go in her little princess coloring book. I think she's a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color in the occasional pink dinosaur or a monster or a cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your, use, your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Hey, Duncan. It's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. <laughs> well, poor Duncan just wanted to color, and of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring and an A plus for creativity. 